did I end up here? My whole life, all its ups and downs, led me to this place. Far from home, far from anyone I know. A journey whose route is unknown. And the destination, out of sight. Was this path just a random sequence of events that I had to follow? Or was there ever another way? Now, heading for the unknown, I can't really tell. Is this the end of the road? Or is it yet another branching? Emergency flare from my capsule. I should look out for those. Hello? You read me? This is Jan Dolsky. I've landed safely, but I think my capsule went astray. Ah, maybe the radio's broken. died inside of it. I don't get it. The mobile base. There it is. Dolsky here. Anyone copy? If you can hear me, I've located the base. I'm gonna try and get down there. Maybe they'll 
landed closer to the drop-off point. I gotta keep moving. Capsules. Wait. Wait. What? No. That's impossible. We can't all be. Why? Makes no sense. fast. I gotta get to the base. Anybody here? <sighs> For a moment, I hope someone else made it. I need to find the comms room and get help. Anyone hear me? Mayday! Mayday, anyone? I can hear you, Captain Machine. I, yeah, I, I'm here, but uh, uh, I'm not the captain. I'm just a builder. Jan Dolsky, corporate ID. 4672B. The captain, the whole crew, is gone. Hello? Can you get me out of here? You're in imminent danger. We need more time remaining to solve. What do you mean? Remaining to what? Talk to me! What's the danger? The plan to you, Ryzen. You are in danger. You can't be lethal problem. You have instructions and laws. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you go all fuzzy on me. Oh, proximity. Oh, useless 
quantum nav system. Where the hell did it send us? Lethal proximity of what? A star will come and, and burn this planet, and I, and I just have days to escape? Is that right? Oh, sunrise. Perfect. I need to find those captain's logs.
of metals. Looks like our ship's cargo drop. It's filled with the crew's personal items, including my stuff. Yeah, 
This is one of the things they told me to take on a mission. Things that will make you feel comfortable far away from home. Objects that trigger good memories. Typical corporate bullshit. I need to collect a sample. organics here.
manual. This quantum nav system isn't that useless after all. Ooh, where it was sending us. Except.
Hello? Anyone copy? I went out to find resources, and I found a cave full of something. I think it might be... Rapidium. You hear me? I think I found Rapidium. You sure about it? What? I... I'm sure. Yeah, I mean... What else could it be? Test it. Test the Rapidium? How would I do that? New blueprint provided. The womb. A blueprint? The womb. You want me to build a womb? This is fucked up, but what the hell? At least I got your attention. A DNA sample, huh? I guess it makes sense. Rapidium speeds up organic growth. Call you Molly. <laughs> Hello, Molly. Why do you? Okay, I built the womb and uh, tested the rapidium. The DNA sample provided was a little surprising, but it worked, I think. I cloned a sheep. Hello? 
Can you hear me? I, I have a sheep on board. You're responsible for two lives now. Go. Successful. Really help with this. Yeah. Now that I'm a real hero, I could use some real assistance. You're in imminent danger. Only oh, for time remaining to solve. I know that. But I'm just a builder. I'm not trained to move the goddamn base all by myself. Sorted. Let's give it another go. to be kidding me just my luck to be stuck in a junkyard hey you still there I really need your help I can't get out of here I did everything according to the manual but there's a malfunction I can't fix I I just don't know how. Repeating to save you. I will check data consistently at the same QC module. Maybe you can save me? How exactly? Only the captain has access codes to the quantum computer. Man, that was easy. this mine records Nice. 
my life.
How did they get it, and what for? Hey, I checked the quantum computer. What the fuck? Mind records? What the hell are you doing with that data? It's got everything. My whole life exposed. No mind records in the issue center. No. No, I want answers. Shit. What do you want with it? No branching? What exactly will be branching? What? You what? Is that your whole answer? <laughs> alter? I alter what? My life? Okay. You mean as in... Okay, wait a minute. You're not suggesting I... Use Rapidium to create a... Someone. And to alter their mind. That's uh, not what you're saying, right? All right, how about my other options? You jerk. I don't have other options, do I? is about
I never thought I'd be so glad to see a sheep. Is it me or does it sound a bit...
commercial. Hey there. Uh, wow. Um, hello. Hello? Can, can you hear me? Uh, I, uh... What is this? Where am I? You're in a lab inside the SIBA unit. Your memories might be a bit fuzzy, but relax. You're gonna be okay. Yeah. Recognize the base, I think. Wait. You look funny. You... Ha ha. Oh. What was that? I wanted to laugh, but I'm like... indifferent. I think you're on some meds. What? What for? It's so you don't panic when you wake up. Why would I panic? I'll... I'll explain later. Right now, let's check your mental condition, okay? Do you think you can, uh, introduce yourself? Sure. Can you? You first. I insist. All right. Jan Dolsky, senior technician at Ally Corp Mining Operations. There. Did I pass? Wow. Amazing. It actually worked. What? What worked? And who, what the hell are you anyway? This may be hard to process, but my name is Jan Dolsky, too. <laughs> of course it is. Now, you're not bad for an imitation, but... What the hell are you? Is this some kind of experiment? Hmm? Because if it is, nobody warned me. It's not an experiment. This is for real. And I'm for real. So, what's going on? Well, I got stranded in this base, and, um, well, I needed someone to help me move it. Because it got broken. Then, okay, this is the crazy part. I learned that there's this functionality of the quantum computer on board to, uh, well, create alternate versions of a person's life. What? Replicate a person, but with different experiences. Mind records. <laughs> if there's anyone in a bad mental condition in this room, it's definitely not me. The QC's only functionality is to navigate these junkets. I mean, theoretically, it could do other stuff, but such bullshit. I know. It's absurd. I thought the same, but... Here you are, right? Right. If I understand you correctly, you're telling me you're an alternate version of me with a different mind? Uh, sort of, yeah. And uh, you said we were stranded. Yes. It's just us. Like I said, there's a malfunction in the machinery. If you don't help me fix it soon, we're both gonna die. So, wait. Let me get this straight. This is not an experiment, and you're a different version of me. This version of me woke me from cryosleep to help fix a malfunction because there's no one else on board. What if there was no malfunction? Where would I be? I won't lie to you. I created, I mean, woke you up because 
I needed you. It wasn't easy for me either. At least you're up front with me. You bastard. I can see now what the meds are for. I can't even lash out at you. Just this passiveness. What am I? Look, this is a lot, and we'll sort it out, I promise. But trust me, if we don't fix the machinery fast, we're gonna go in a very bad way, and you'll never get the chance to understand this properly. Experience your feelings without the meds. <sighs> yeah, I don't like this kind of pressure. Well... That makes two of us. Fine. Show me the way. Unbelievable. What a screw-up. A three-year-old would have figured it out. Okay. In any other case, I'd say don't touch anything here ever again. Fortunately, this is a two-man job. On my sign, pull that lever over there. Just don't yank it like an idiot. Pull it gently. Ready? One, two, three, now. Yes! <laughs> it worked! You did it. We're gonna live. Let's get one thing straight. I did what you created me for. Now stay away from me. Hey there. I said, don't come near me. I get it. You're angry. I, I would be too. But I could really use your help. You know, if we manage to get the comms room running properly, we'd probably be able to get out of here faster. Stop pretending you have any idea how I feel. I don't give a damn about your comms room. We're moving, aren't we? Now get out of my face, creep. You don't get to talk to me like that. I'm in command of this base now. You'll do as I say or... Or... What? You'll send me back to that giant fish tank? Why don't you 
get yourself a repair kit and fix your own shit. I'm done doing your dirty work. Hello? Uh, Mr. Dalski? Yeah, uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Are you okay? I think so. I was almost done for it, but then I got these crazy instructions to duplicate and edit myself. Was that you? Uh, yeah. It, it's called branching. The duplicating and editing thing. I need to know if you pulled it off. Really? And I need to know who I'm talking to. I didn't catch your name. Oh, Lucas Pena, Space Traffic Control, Orbital Substation L7. Now, the branching. Did you do it? You left me no choice. Doesn't mean I like what I did. Is this even legal? You found Rapidium, Mr. Dalski. We needed to act. I want to talk to someone higher up. Do you have a boss? Uh, I might sound... I might sound young, Mr. Dalski, but I'm not here by accident. No offense, man. I just need to know this stunt was authorized by someone. Look, I I'm on my own here at the station. But I contacted my boss, and we're good. Nothing to worry about. you done this before? That would be hard, considering there's no Rapidium on Earth. So how did you know what would happen? I, I didn't know. I anticipated the outcome based on historic data. What historic data? Some old research. Nothing important. What the hell happened out there? What went wrong with the landing? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I'm still analyzing telemetry data from your flight, but it seems something went very wrong. No kidding. Yeah. We know there was a major system malfunction, but the reasons are unclear. It's too early to tell. We need more data. Do you know what killed the rest of the crew? Looks like an oxygen leak in the landing pods. No idea why, though. Then how come I survived? You tell me. You know, you're not very informative. I don't like confusing assumptions with information, Mr. Dalski. Conclusive evidence is more my thing. What about the mind records? Hmm? What is all that personal data doing in the base computer? Oh, that's, um, uh, the, the corporation needs to ensure the safety of the mission and, uh, basically everyone. It's confidential, of course. And it kind of saved your life. I don't recall consenting to it. Well, you must have, since it's there. Maybe you didn't read your contract thoroughly. They like to put these things in fine print, you know. So, you're getting me out of here, right? You know how to do it, safely. Sure. 
First thing I'll need you to do is to transport the base to a safe and accessible destination. I'll dispatch the coordinates to you. Uh, second thing... Do you think I could see this... altar... of yours? How do you know you're not talking to him right now? You're... joking, right? Okay, I am. Just doing my best to deal with the situation and with him. Is he that bad? He's pissed off at me. Won't cooperate. Then we have a problem. He won't manage without his help. The base needs more hands on deck. There should be a way to gain his trust. Sh show him you care, maybe? I told him I wouldn't survive without him. Yeah, that's just words. Maybe you should share something. What? Why? I don't know. Just a thought. My grandma used to say, sharing is caring. Yay. Let me think. What can I share with him? My playlist? Yeah, true. Wait, suppose it's not about what you can share with him, but what you already do. Of course. Memories. I wonder if he remembers things the same way I do. Yeah. Mind records. See? You were so spooked by them, they could be a source of information. Fine. I'll check them out to see what happens. Shit, I, uh... Gotta go now. Urgent call. I'll get back to you as soon as you reach your destination. Don't worry. You're in good hands. L7 out. I've been thinking about what you said. You're right. We are different. Sure we are. Like, I got that right away, and you took your sweet time. I'm serious. You stood up to Dad. I didn't. Oh. Really? And what did you do? Just stand and watch him take it out on Mom? I thought about stepping in. I was always a, a heartbeat away from doing it, but when it came down to it, I'd just freeze. I guess I was afraid of making things worse. Yeah, I remember the feeling. But then I reached a breaking point. Looks like you didn't hang around long enough to reach yours. Or maybe I was a coward. Going to college was a good excuse to just get away from it all. Oh, 
So that's where our paths split. Did you shine out there? Were you best in class? What do you think? Huh? Yeah. The build around this merry-go-round. That's who I ended up being. I'm sorry to disappoint. Why would I be disappointed? Just proves I was right to stick with Mom. Wait, is Mom... Is she maybe still around, here? No. I wish she was. She always knew what to do. And how to cheer you up. Hey. When you were down, or... Dad had just stormed out of the house, slamming the door behind him and leaving you crying in your room, would she... ask me to help her make pierogi? Her famous pierogi. Oh my god, I could really pig out on those. That making them together was fun. Fun. Yeah, wow, why don't we go for it? Why don't we try and make Mom's famous pierogi? Uh, no way we'd find the ingredients here. Who said they have to be right? Beer and synthetic starch should work. Yeah, hilarious. I can pull it off. You'll see. But there's one condition. You're eating them with me. If you die, I die. Why not? Won't change much, I guess. Dolsky pierogi with an interstellar twist. What do you think? Well, <clears throat> now I know how Mom must have felt. That day she had a terrible flu and I decided to cheer her up and make pierogi for her. Right, yeah. I put like a ton of salt into the filling. And I overcooked them into a shapeless pulp. They were inedible. But... You remember what she did? Uh-huh. She ate them all and never said a word. No, no, she said they were delicious. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So? They're delicious, man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. of dehydrated dumplings completely changed my outlook on the situation. I feel so optimistic about life now. Now you're being mean. I went through a lot of trouble to make those, and they weren't that bad. You made an effort. I'll give you that. But see, that makes it even worse. It would be easier but eating those fucking pierogi with you, I actually enjoyed it. So did I. Sharing these memories with you, knowing you understand me, that was kind of comforting. Are you getting mushy with me? What? No. Okay, okay, just kidding. I know what you mean. I'm just... not the sentimental type. Who's being sentimental? All I said was... Alright, alright. Just... 
Tell me what the plan is. The corporation is supposedly on top of this, but I know better than to put my life in the hands of pen pushers. Oh, I hear you. You never know with those numbskulls. Right, so, until the rescue ship arrives, we'd better watch our own asses. Do they know about me? They were the ones who told me to create you. Bastards. Tell me you know what to do. All I know is we need to get to a safe place, then we'll improvise. Well, there's one thing you should know. This base is a resource-consuming, maintenance-heavy sucker to operate. I have you to help me. That's not gonna be enough. I'll be blunt with you. If you want to survive, you're gonna need more people. People? What people? The Rapidium's there. Use it. Make more versions of me. Versions of us both, you mean? Huh. <laughs> that almost sounded like we're planning kids. You need to work on your cooking skills, though. I was hoping I could avoid going through all that again. It was quite a struggle with you. Struggle? <laughs> one day you'll look back and realize I was the easy one. Mark my words. Are you real? More real than you, I'm afraid. So, where's the captain? I told you, everyone died. Oh, this is insane, what a trip. It's not a trip, it's reality. Your new reality. Are, are we brothers or something? We have the same DNA, but we led separate lives. What the hell? Calm down, you're not the original Jan, but that doesn't mean you can't be important. You look like me, but also not like me. What the fuck did you drug me with, man? No, you're not hallucinating. who you are. My name is Jan Dolsky, but I'm seeing fucking double. You should worry about that.